Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of our Sherlock Holmes The Awakened series, Let's Play. Today, we are starting chapter three, and I believe we are beginning at the Elderwise Institute, and we're looking for some clues that were left behind for us from the previous episode. As always, subscribe, leave a like, and please comment down below. I want to know what your thoughts are on the series so far. I hope you're having a great day so far. Let's do this. That's really nice. I don't know if I've commented on this or the next screen yet, but I really appreciate those, them, Frogware, for putting that in and for putting this in. That is really touching and it makes me love the game even more and that it's creators. Sherlock is afraid of water. If he falls in, he'll black out. Okay, so this is where we left off. Did they say previously what kind of a place this is? Because I'm getting hotel vibes, but I have a feeling from the guard, it's... If you check in here, you might not be checking out. Salutations, madam. I am Dr. John Watson. This I is was the wondering second if you've got time we've got visit. to play as John. Yeah, Dr. Watson, we received your letter on the matter. Would it be to see Professor Gygax? Previously, we got to play him in the other episode for like two seconds, so maybe this will last five seconds. He told us to say, Sherlock sat on the train. No, I just want to look around. I wonder if we shouldn't just say what he wanted us to. The asylum's facilities, actually. I've heard great things about the work you do here. Permission to go anywhere would have to come from Professor Gygax. Wait here, bitte. Mr. and Mrs. Bronson, your girl has made remarkable progress. Okay, so it's See? not Take a hotel. For yourself. <sighs> My apologies for keeping you waiting, Dr. Watson. Surely you understand how medical work can make one lose track of time. Do not be sorry, Professor. I too know the importance of closely attending to patients. The work hardly stops here, yet the satisfaction of perfecting the mind compels us to persevere. I take it you welcome many a soul into your establishment? Admissions, yes. Visitors, though? I am curious as to what brought you to the Schwarzes Edelweiss. Word of mouth. Murder. An article I read back in London spoke highly of your institution. But rather than taking its word for it, I thought I would see things for myself. My asylum's reputation precedes it then. Everyone, your attention, please. Guten day. Yes, hi. Hello. The name's Amos Is Colby, that Northwood Detective Agency, Boston. I got questions that need answers. Who's in charge here? What seems to be the matter, Dr. Watson? You can tell me. By Jove. It cannot be him. That man there is a fraud. That man there is a celebrity. I don't think a investigator would be a celebrity. Sherlock Holmes is an investigator and he's a celebrity. Mm. Um, I don't know if this matters. So we'll say fraud? That man, well, the, the real Amos Colby lies six feet under in London. Oh, no, no, in. no, no. In my line of work, it can't wait. No longer can if you to wish to recuperate, truth, Dr. Watson, you may avail yourself of the guest room. But I have so much more to discuss. Nurse, if you'd be so kind as to escort Dr. Watson to the guest room. Herr Colby, from Northwood Agency. I don't know if that escort is going to let us How come back. Expected. I am Professor Gygax. I would be happy to answer your questions in the examination room. Look, Professor, unless you got any clues as to the whereabouts of me. He is dragged out of her mind. There is no need to be alarmed. No one gets infected in I don't think we want to be under her care. Now, now, let's not resort to brute force. Do not worry, Herr Colby. My methods are rather more delicate. Mm -hmm. I don't think she has a gentle touch. Uh. 
rise up, Shin Sarume. Then take him to the holding chamber. I need to decide precisely what to do with our guest. You treat all of your guests this well? Okay. Ooh. Ah, the unmistakable scent of alcoholism. Did you walk through their doors as I did, or did they collect you off the streets? Can they do that? Ah, the unmistakable oh, scent of alcoholism. Did you walk through their doors as I did, or did they collect you off the streets? Okay. Let's see. Is there anything else to do? I don't think there is. We're familiar with these. We know how to do this. Up two, up four, up three, up one. So, up two, up three, up four, up one. Mm. Okay, so up one, down one. Up one, down one. Yay! We're getting better. Regular old lock pickers. Is it? There we go. Ooh, a weapon. A truncheon, not the typical tool for a nurse. You can never pick up the weapons. Um, I can read the signs. Okay, so there's a guard there for a doctor someone okay raw materials used to formulate medicine what are they injecting everyone with it's never taken anything like that the final product ready to cure madness or to push one deeper into its grasp can it do both any chemist would envy the quality of this equipment. With this equipment, they can create any sure. type of medication. Okay. Maybe they would. Needles. Very sturdy. I might borrow it. A weapon. Fourth little frog. Frogs can't wash up, and sh I surely can. This is weird. There is a difference between a frog and a man. Fourth little frog was dirty and rotten. What if I put that frog in water? That doesn't rhyme. Leslie drawn, John up, swims in a bath. Laundry becomes the end of her path. Fourth little frog dies in the walls of black elder wise. I hate that. I hate it. It sounds sinister, even for a place like this. It's a clue, but I hate it. If there are more frogs in the... Block A patients. Patient Eloise K. Diagnosis... No. Commentary. Nail trimming every day. Do not untie her hands even if she won't stop screaming. These places were horrific. Patient Marizo H. Mania dissociation. Commentary. After the incident with a nurse's prescribed therapeutic fasting for a week. Vincent Josephine to make him more manageable. That's so sad. Mariana W. Hysteria. Keep raising the dosage until she forgets the child. Oh my word. Stupor is quite acceptable. Patient. Patient. Nils J. Nervous breakdown. Do not allow any visits. All letters sent to patient must be destroyed. That is horrible. I wonder if we have to try and remember some of these. Pond. Let's see if there's not a different room. So he's that way. I don't want to go that way. Can I go this way? Okay, cool. Oh, wait. Is there someone up here? Well, they would see us now, wouldn't they? Okay. Is it lead? This sedative worked faster than I expected. Perhaps I ought to train myself. <laughs> Build up a tolerance. Sure. Just nod and smile. Uh, yeah, I don't think we can go back that way. 
That's the reception, I imagine. I'm not going out there. Absolutely not. Okay, a map. That's the guest room. I wonder if Watson was able to speak to Gygax. Sure. I have no idea where that is. Can we go this way? You there. Oh, that scared me. I want you to free me at once. I'm not sure Shh, that's a great idea at the be moment. Quiet. How dare you deny me? I must have my revenge against the Lickspittles upstairs. Fortunately for you, I'm here to stop the very same people. You are? Indeed. But first, I must discover all I can about this institution. Tell me, have you witnessed the arrival of any foreign patients? Tell me? The goal? The impertinence to bark such orders? Please, we don't have time for this. Do you know with whom you speak? I am the great Napoleon. Okay. Ah. Napoleon Bonaparte? The one and only. Emperor of the French, first sure. consul of the Republic, leader of La Grande Armée. If you Once believe I it, free and have exacted my revenge I don't, but I'll play along. Ridicule me. I shall rest happy in the arms of my beloved Josephine. Right. Well, I will leave you to your scheming, Emperor. So we can't go this My way. My heart is pierced by Cupid. I disdain all glittering gold. There is nothing can console me. I want to focus, ma'am. That is a good song, though. Okay, up one, up two, up one, two, three. So one, two, one, two, three. So one, two. One, two, three. Ah, close. So, all of them need to go up, except the first and last. All of them except the first one need to go up one more time. Boom shakalaka. I've never seen a lock like that though. Is there anyone in here? I have a needle. A certificate of appreciation from the municipal councillor to Professor Becker for contributions to the development of medicine in Interlaken. Okay. Jeez, a saw. A simple toolbox, yet capable of repairing anything. Or breaking something, hurting someone. Fifth little frog. Frogs cannot kill, but I surely can. That is the difference between a frog and a man. Fifth little frog was foolish at large. He forgot about rules and who is in charge. Timothy Chamalay lies dead in block b i swapped out his pills for something nasty fifth little frog dies in the walls of black elderwise i actually like that one better i feel like that rhymes better john sallow the tulpa phenomenon i'm somewhat of an expert already <laughs> rg hill dr Connolly. it appears that all the psychiatric classics were banished here now we're making up our own rules here Professor Gaiax, I have suffered serious chemical burns upon my hand, the consequence of your inexcusable actions. Her? No, not her. Surely not. My session with Gerda ended before it even began. Poor thing was so terrified she refused to talk and started to destroy everything in the room rather than let me approach her. What you did to Gerda would not and cannot happen again. Let it be known that I consider your methods barbaric, a barbaric malpractice if, as you so boldly claim, you wish to be the future of my facility. You must embody my high standards. Do not disappoint me again. Professor Becker, director of Black Elderwise. Hmm. You tell her. Tubes pencil. Varying diameters. Interesting. Not pencil. Okay. Frank, are we gonna ride the dumbwaiter? Looks like it's still operational. 
We're gonna write the time later. This photo was damaged seemingly by oil. Hmm. I can make up the names listed here. Okay. Cooking grease. Is this the kitchen dumbwaiter? That makes sense. Looks like a broken plate or something. Oh, we gotta talk about how creepy the painting is. Painting in a mental institution. Vogel would be delighted. Um, just so we speech don't miss the cerebellum by S. A. Becker. Let's head back this way. Shh. Don't get caught. Old photograph. A tattered, grainy photograph of the black elderwise staff on the back is a list of names. Metal tubes. A note from Professor Becker. Fifth little frog. Patient hates the cards. Watson's successful infiltration. As expected, he revealed my disguise, though I failed to anticipate Professor Gygax's extreme reaction. Dr. Watson is in the guest room that is next door to Dr. Gygax's office. That's going to be an issue. Metal sedative, blockade patients. Fourth little frog, syringes, black elderwise secrets. We're coming for him. Investigating the elderwise. Okay. What was that? Is someone there? Okay. So he's gonna be a problem. Okay. How to safely remove the block B guard. Okay, so a bottle of sedative the syringes, and probably some metal tubes. Use a handmade blowpipe. It could be possible to sedate the guard from a distance using a handmade blowpipe. Perhaps one of the tubes from the storage room could suit. Maybe I don't have one of the pipes. Maybe I was supposed to pick it up, and I thought that I did. There it is. This should suffice. There it is. I thought when we picked it up, we did not. <laughs> Let's blow him. Shut up. It's fighting me. Oh! Doesn't feel so good to get the same treatment that you're giving others. Hmm. And he's out. Okay, let's mug him. This should be enough to avoid unwanted attention. Where did he go? He's from a distance. Did we put him in the fridge? Where is he? That's a dead frog, I think. First little frog. Frogs cannot think, and I surely can. This is, that is the difference between frog and man. First little frog was my very first try. Her dumb little head is needed to pry. Hannah Pollard, near the hole in the wall, wanders there, her head with a break encounters. First little frog dies in the walls of Black Elderwise. Is the, are the frogs the patients and the man, the doctors, or is it Cthulhu? Still trying to figure out how this all ties in. There's no way that they'll recognize us with our uniform on. Me? Oh, I'm new. I started today. Manufactured and packaged here. I bet it is. This is the same narcotic substance that we found in London. Mm. Oh, a letter. Herr Schnitzer, I hasten to assure you that your son is in good hands and that his unexpected development of a psychological disorder can be remedied at our facility. I am sure you are as concerned about your son's well-being as I am. I doubt it's the same level, but it, whatever. 
and I am confident our combined efforts will lead to a speedy recovery. The housing of your pharmaceuticals in your warehouse is an important part of this process. If you succeed at drawing officials' attention away from this precious cargo, there will be nothing to stop me from returning your son to you safe. So this is like blackmail. Sound and free of this unfortunate illness. Yours sincerely, Professor Guy Gax. What a stand-up gal. I would like to hit her with a blow dart. Okay. So now we are going to go deeper into the facility. I'm thinking we're just trying to get back to John at this point. Go away or I will tear your lips from your skull you with got it. fingernails. That's fine. Miss, I... I'll gouge your eyes out and cut off your hands just like you did to Heidi. I am quite certain you would, Heidi? but I'm afraid you have me mistaken for someone else. So, I take it your name is Gerda? Who is Heidi? You talk strange. You're going to Hell's Door, aren't you? To I hope not. To where those funny talkers finally shut oh, up. Oh, I hope not. Hell's Door? He looks like a child again. Fur. Only Heidi had answers. Go away, pig! I merely- I said go, or you will spend your last moments on Earth screaming. This door won't stop me. Get him, girl. I mean, wait, that's us. You get the others. We could be friends. Acquaintances. Let's get out of here, but then go our separate ways, because you scare me a little. Okay. What's in here? Restricted access. Okay. Not so restricted. Okay. Um... Fireplace? Fabric burnt in the furnace. Oh, I'm sure nothing evil's going on. Are these all the clothes to be burned? A jalabia. A traditional garment from Northern Africa. <sighs> the garments of several dozen people at Great. least. So this is like a laundry room. Except where we burn the evidence too. Please do not tell me we hide in here. Okay, thank God. I was getting nervous. This was going to be one of those hiding so mockers. So Heidi. I didn't realize I was on haunted doll watch. Oh, they took her doll. Good Lord, how unsettling. The damage seems intentional. So maybe all she cares about is this doll and it's used... It's like held over her head. Let's go this way really quickly before we... Go back and give her a creepy doll. Okay, no, this is leading somewhere entirely else. We can come back. Found her. I will make them pay for what they did to Heidi. Found her. I believe I have found your friend. Heidi! Oh, poor girl. What did they do to you? Shh. It's all right, Al. Everything will be all right. Please, Gerda. Now I have found Heidi. I need some help from you in return. Your I ha I scratched your back. Your creepy hand scratched my back. Man, don't you think? So these are in yellow. Let's see what happened to the foreign patients. Tell me all you know about those funny talking people. We'd hear their screams. The guards would take them down the corridor behind you and they'd disappear. And the screams would stop. Jeez. What do you know about Professor Gygax? Professor Gygax seems to rule this facility with an iron fist. Something. Do you know anything about her? She's sick. She did nasty things to us. Separated me and Heidi just for fun. Before she got here, this place was all right. Was it? Do you know Professor Becker? Have you ever met Professor Becker? I remember him. He was in charge here before that witch Gygax. But I haven't heard his voice for a long time. Too bad. He was nice. Why are you here? How did you end up in Block B? The nurses say I'm prone to violent outbursts, but they're wrong. I just do what Heidi tells me. What does Heidi tell you? I shall leave you two to get reacquainted. 
Okie dokie. I'm just gonna leave. This it's fine. Let's keep going this way. Is there anything here? Third little frog. Frogs cannot dream and I surely can. That is the difference between a frog and a man. Frogs dreaming is seedless. There is nothing to reap. So I woke the third frog from his meaningless sleep. Okay. A man counts sheep and Peter has zero has seen zero. And holding chamber lies smothered by pillow. Third little frog dies in the walls of Black Elderwise. Whoever's writing these needs to be here. Um. Okay. So this looks like a folder. Some sort. Medical evaluations in four young adult. Sex, male, nationality, Dutch. Diagnosis, a weak-minded subject. Eager to follow orders for perceived reward. Strong build, dosed with four milligrams. Mind violent. Maori. Language, incomprehensible. Subject is thus assumed mad. The subject was large and required above an average dosage of 0.8 milligrams. I think that's... Kimihi. Kimihi. All subjects in good condition showing signs of obedience regardless of race or native language. They must move on for further testing. I, maybe he's here and hopefully alive. So this is how they kept the prisoners docile and harmless. Man, I can't imagine how terrifying it would be to just have... Obviously, no one did anything to ever deserve this, but to just be going about your regular life and then end up here, like Kimahe, just didn't do anything. Something sticking out. A cross. Is it one of those aluminum crosses? An orthodox reliquary commonly found in Eastern Europe, now in a cell halfway up the Alps. I don't think in here. Let's go back out here. Um, thought I saw something sparkle. Might have just been the chains. Um, let's go look in the last one before we head on. Okay, yeah. Scribbled in Georgian. Okay. I don't think there's anything else in this exact area. There could be more over here. Okay. Blood from a head above. Oh gosh. This is gonna make me really sad. Strong chlorine smell. This stretcher was disinfected frequently. I don't know if Kimmy's alive. I think that is the one. Let's head over here and see if we can't find anything else. So this looks like the coffins from the The stamp on this crate confirms it came New from Orleans. America. That's quite a distance to travel. They surely did not keep them in there the entire time. These are the same crates we yeah. found in London. I should take a closer look. That's what I was saying. A bottle this dirty doesn't break by accident. Is that blood? Substantial blood Jeez. loss. One poor soul found another way out. I don't know. I mean, I can't imagine what I would do in this scenario, but I know that... I guess I could imagine ending up here couldn't have been much better than that. Go out on your own terms or go out here. 
I mean, man, let's check. There's more down here and here. I doubt that one could survive such a journey with this little water. It's an air hole. The kidnappers even provided airflow. <sighs> generous. This is upsetting. This is really sobering. Dirt and sweat. They were locked in here for days, judging by the smell. Oh, okay. Here it is. It's one of the aluminum. This is the pendants. same design as the one from London. This trip was prolonged and perilous. Hmm. And then over here. Second little frog. Frogs cannot choose, and I surely can. That is the difference between a frog and a man. Second little frog gave up to its fate, which I chose for her and served on a plate. Abigail bleeding, almost full tank. Near the exam room, she lies with a shank. <sighs> Second little frog dies in the walls of black elderwise. I want to go give a presentation in like an hour. And I'm not prepared for it. And I'm... This is just so sad. I'm, mm, I'm scared of finding bodies. Okay, let's do a, another once over. Make sure we didn't miss any of the concentration, imagination things. So we can put together the full mystery of what's going on. Deliveries. Okay, so we have it now. Let's do this. Where is it? There it is. I doubt it. That seems more likely. Okay, and then the next is over here. Possibly? I bet they were forced out. That one, I believe he was dead. Like I said, I don't... I can't judge them for deciding. To take... The, their fate in their own hands, but man, that is just so sad. It's gonna be this one or this one, I think. Okay, and then the last one is over here. I think that's right. The carriages were back through these doors, and they began to unload their cargo in secret. Next, the crates were opened, freeing so their passengers. It seems passengers. like Dr. Blacker Bleaker was journey. against this. What happened Dirty, to him? Where is he? Dehydrated prisoners were then herded into cells. But all the cells are now empty, and I have not located a morgue. Time to find Hell's door. We're not there already? Oh my gosh. Hey, let's continue. Well, it's shut. Okay. Is there anything else that we're missing before we head out of here? Mm hmm. Scratches. Scratches. Something has been moved through here. Those boxes. Round indent. Smells of machine oil. There seems to be a locking mechanism. So maybe a secret the wall. Thing must be a door. Ooh. Okay. Let's try. If we're gonna have to figure out how to get in there, let's make sure that we're done with Gerda. Let's caught her Heidi. Oh, that's the laundry. I'm swinging all over the place. I will make them pay for what they did to Heidi. Okay. That's great. How do we open Hell's door? I found Hell's door, the one that made the foreigners silent, remember? How do I open it? Gerda, please, I cannot get inside. You have to tell me how to open it. How can you Would speak to me like nothing's wrong? Can't you hear Heidi crying? Look at her! Look! She's suffering. I can't even hear my thoughts over her screams. Poor, poor Heidi. We will fix you. You I promise will fix her. We will fix you. Leave it with me, Gerda. 
Is there anyone else in the room besides me? I promised nothing. I guess he just did. She was found in the laundry room, so I imagine we need to probably start there by one thing, and that's something that I keep forgetting to do. If we're specifically looking for Heidi. Okay, so I need to start remembering to pin the evidence, because that's what I think kickstarts the next part. Heidi. All Greta could talk about was Heidi. So... She continues to maintain that only Heidi knows everything. There won't be any answers until she's repaired. Of course there won't be. That will require two buttons, thread, glue, and nails. Like, fingernails or are we nailing her together? I need to pin that. That's what I just said. Okay. Let's search now. There it is. Loose buttons. Okay. And thread. Okay, so this area is complete. But we still need nails and a few other items. Okay, so I think this is the way that we came from. Yes. Because I don't want to go the way that the guards are. Anything in here? Maybe? No. Let's go this way. That was my cell. There's not gonna be anything in here. But something random like nails could be anywhere. It's my thought process. It could be in this room in here. Maybe. Ha! Ah, this seems to be a catch all room. Just construction adhesive. There we go. Everything is ready for Heidi's repair. That didn't that wasn't nearly as bad as I thought that was gonna be. I thought we were gonna be looking for a really long time. So we need to go through back through here. The kitchen not that's not the kitchen the i don't know what that room is chemistry room we're gonna go down the hall back to talk to gerda and or a heidi i'm not sure will this help fix your friend give it to me i don't know if we should be giving her nails how is she feeling everything will be all right heidi everything Gerda, I have a couple of questions. Gerda couldn't have looked. Yes. But the Heidi I couldn't have looked any worse. Thank you, little mouth, Gerda. You've said enough already. Uh. Oh. She won't speak no more. Now it's only Heidi. You helped me, and I didn't cut out your eyes. I'm starting to see why we're not allowed to have now Heidi. Go. I helped you. Don't forget that. Heidi, there are things I need some clarity on. If you dare, but if I get bored, there will be consequences. First question, how do you throw your voice like that? So, investigating Elderwise is the first option. Block A patience. Black Elderwise secrets. Gerda's testimony. The crying in my ears is getting to me. I'm starting to feel like I need to be in one of these cells. Watson's successful infiltration, old photograph. I don't think that old photograph, Watson's successful infiltration will be the options that we need to be looking at. I do think that this could be the first option that we need to go with. I found Hell's door, but it's locked. Is there a way to get in? Hell's door? Oh, her head like cracks when she talks. That is so creepy they like animated like they did that so well i think that we need to choose this one because she knows more and we're talking to gerda through heidi that's not true you gerda told me that hell's door makes people silent forever and you believe that snotty little girl i'll personally ensure that she never dares to speak again okay i'm scared 
So, what happened to Gerda was in the note. It makes sense. I think this is what we're going with. I mean, what can the doll do to us? I'm already a little nervous. Yes. Professor Gygax hurt you repeatedly, scarred your body and mind. You are not protecting Hell's door. How can places you like this are simply afraid of the consequences were I to enter. Ever I could cut your teeth out with a hammer until you choked on the blood in bits. You could. But then you would live the rest of your life in fear of Professor Gygax. I can make that feeling go away. How? I can stop her. But the key, the Heidi, the key to Hell's door is critical to stopping Professor Gygax. And I think you know where it is. Tell him! But you said... And now I say tell him! The professor... She has a special key. Keeps it close and only brings it down when you people go through. Behind those closed doors, those people start to sing. Mm. Oh, they sing in so much pain. Gygax. Of course. If I have an option to take Gygax Thank out, you, I'm Gerda. taking it. Heidi, I must leave. Leave? <laughs> You joke. Nobody leaves the Edelweiss. Now you will be with us forever! As long as we're not roommates. Okay. I think it might be time to start putting some clues together because I don't know where to go. And every time that's happened so far, it's meant that I need to put stuff together. How to get the key to Hell's door. And save Watson. We just, he's probably in trouble. Either he's in big trouble or he's fine, like having tea and like having a great time. It's gonna be one of those two. So either way, we can be irritated with him. It's fine. Business as usual. A note from Professor Becker is not an option. We probably have to get to Watson because. Didn't Sherlock say when he was looking at the map that his room is near Gygax's office? So Watson's in. Infiltration. Are we gonna ride on the dumb waiter? I think we're gonna ride on the dumb waiter. Heidi's testimony about Hell's Door. Watson could find it and send it downstairs. Watson must be in the guest room that's beside Gygax's office. Perhaps he could acquire the key and use the kitchen dumb waiter to deliver it down to the storage room. We just have to find him. Go and look around, maybe? Let's go and look around. Maybe it's we need to go back by the room that had the map in it. So we need to go this way. Nope. We need to go this way. And it was... It was this one. Um, can we go through here? Don, no way I can get past him without being noticed. Okay. It is a problem. Locked. I suppose the reception will be guarded anyway. <sighs> Block paths upstairs. Okay, okay. So now we can go back in, probably. And finish figuring that out. Oh. Block path upstairs. Boom. Use a patient to create a diversion. The patient who claims to be Napoleon Bonner <laughs> to bark it out. I'm sure he could. Freeing him could create enough of a distraction to find out and contact Watson on the ground floor. Let's go talk to Napoleon Bonaparte. Didn't expect to say that. He is here, Maruccio. Oh, we're opening his thing. Is that wise? Two, three, one, two, one, four. We'll see. So, two, is it three? Two, one. Three, four, I think that's what I said. Okay, so third down one, fourth up one. So down one, up one, down one. That's it. So 
down one, up one, down one. So, up one more, that's it. Almost there. Got it. Please don't hurt me. You cannot return after leaving. Be sure to finish everything you wanted to do here. I've definitely got to wrap this part up in just a minute, but I'm, I wanna know where Bonaparte's leading us. I think that this is either gonna go really well or really poorly and no in between. I'm ready to go. I, if I never see Heidi again, it would be too soon. At last, you came to your senses. My humble apologies, Emperor. Spam your groveling, Englishman. Of course, you are right as ever, for you see, time is of the essence. The Royalists have risen again, and your darling Josephine needs you. Paris needs you. Mon amour. But the guards upstairs in reception stand in your way. Ha! They will pose no problem for the likes of me. Merci, Englishman. When I return to outfit, Les Tuileries, I shall make you a general. Oh, you are too kind, Emperor. Now go. Your freedom awaits. A little I am bad playing him like that. Like, who knows what's gonna happen to him now? Psst. Watson, over here. Holmes, what are you doing here? And where did you get that outfit? It is Don't unimportant. Ask. I require your assistance. I don't think it's the time to get to squabble like an old married couple. We can do that later at home. Tell what me what's going happening, on. What is Holmes? I need an explanation. It's quite simple. I created a distraction so that I could tell you something important, and in turn, I need you to acquire something important for me. How can you call any of this charade simple? Watson, we can discuss this later. Time is of the utmost importance. The kidnapped people may I still hope be so. This is what I know so far. What? You really found all this on your own? Focus I found all of it Watson. on my own so far. I need you to find a key. It will be most unique. All the details are in my notes. Logic dictates that Gygax will keep it near her. Once acquired, you must get it to me. Perhaps the kitchen dumbwaiter could be of use. Holmes, I, I can't do this. I'm no spy. Yes, you can, Watson. You are I love that he encourages him like that. Like, I think it's really sweet. Doctor Watson. Visitors are not permitted back here. I'm terribly sorry, Mr. Kuntz. After the war, my nerves, I, uh, hmm. I fled all that commotion. That's quick. It is nothing. A patient attempted to escape. He will not get far. Now, if you would like to follow me. Okay, guys, that is all for today's Let's Play. So it seems, it feels like we're about halfway through chapter three and we're getting to play as Watson again. This will be our third time. Maybe the first time is about three seconds i feel like the second time was about five seconds maybe we'll get lucky and this will be about 10 seconds we get to play as him and then we won't get to razz him as hard for not helping out um if you've had a good time please leave a comment and subscribe and also leave a like let me know how you feel what's been your favorite part so far if you say heidi i don't want to hear it just leave that stuff at home get thee behind me satan Thank you for hanging out with me. I've had a great time with you. I'm super excited to pick up where we've left off and also to get out of here. This place is super creepy. So I hope you've been having a great day so far. I'm looking forward to the next one. Bye for now.